in their language, the Holy Spirit served as an interpreter where the other Jews who spoke in Arab, uh, 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 the Arabic, language, the, the language, the language of, their of their land, their country, they was able to understand them in their own language. They heard their own language being spoke, although these men were speaking the language of the Gal uh, Galileans, Brother Judy. Let's go to Genesis chapter 10, black guys, and show you that this is nothing new. So wait a minute, Brother Julius. You're yeah. going to tell me that we get all high off the word, speaking in tongues. Oh, speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Like speaking in tongues is something that is... Uh, magical or mystical or something. We do not deny speaking in tongue. What we're doing, sisters and brothers, is defining speaking in tongue and show you what tongue really is. And I get every time we do this lesson, Black Ice, I learn something new and I pass it on and we I get more and more excited because the <laughs> I gotta say it, the Holy Spirit is opening up our understanding because the purpose of the Holy Spirit is to lead and guide you into all truth, black ice. So we got to go to Genesis chapter 10 and show you and go on in further to show you the same thing that happened on the day of Pentecost is nothing new. Wow. It really is nothing new, sisters and brothers, but people have made it a mystery. They even say that it's the speaking in tongue is the evidence of the Holy Ghost. And I strongly disagree with that. Now, according to the definition of speaking in tongues, uh -huh. it says the person who speaks in tongues is unaware of what he is saying. He could talk in a foreign or made up language uh -huh. or fall back into speech patterns of his own. So, brothers and sisters, that's one thing. But we know the definition of tongue according to the context that it is written in this Bible only means another language. Not only that, black guys, but if you that definition that you just read, it's not what happened. No, start and read, read that again, just a little bit. Let me read it again, brothers. Read, and read that again, what you just read, because sisters and brothers, pay attention to what his what this definition is and what the Bible actually said on the day of Pentecost. Read it I says see. the person who speaking in tongues is unaware of what he says. He could talk in a foreign or made up la or made up language uh -huh. or fall back into speech patterns of his childhood. Now, now, a person that speaks in tongue according to this definition is unaware, but on the day of Pentecost, what did they say? We do hear them speaking what ice? The wonderful works of God. Now wait a minute, Brother Judah, if there's more. Go ahead. There's more. Go ahead. It says it is mostly induced by either psychoactive drugs or a deep hip, hip, um, hypnotic uh -huh. trance. So a person can get into what they call the singing, the, the clapping, the, the dancing in the church. Oh, the spirit. Oh, they in the spirit now. But the purpose of the spirit is to lead and guide you into all truth. Wow. Genesis chapter 10. Verse, we're going to skip. Let's, we gonna, let's define the term tongue, Brother Julius. Read, read Genesis 10 and 1, Black Guys. Watch this. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, uh -huh. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh -huh. And unto them were sons born after the flood. After the flood. Now, skip down to verse 5. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided, talking about the children of Japheth. Or the Europeans, go ahead. In their lands. In their lands. Everyone after his tongue. After his tongue or his speech or his language. After their families in their nation. Now, skip down, Black Eyes, and read verse 20. Verse 20. To about the nations, the peoples. Verse 20. Yes. It says, these are the sons of Ham. Yes. After their families, after their families, after their tongues, the African nations, after their uh, tongues, in their countries, in their countries, and in their nations. Now, read Black Eyes at verse, mm, this is so good, verse 31. So we got Shem, Ham, and Japheth, all the three sons of Noah through how all the world was spread on this side of the flood. Read 31, Ice. These are the sons of Shem yeah. after their families, yeah. after their tongues, in their lands, uh -huh. after their nation. Now, let's skip down to Genesis. So, 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 hold on, Brother Julius. You got three different peoples here. Yeah. Or, or nations or, or sons, sons that people came that out of. That developed into nations, That yes. developed into nations that developed into their own tongues or languages. Right. 
So they were diff speaking in different tongues all the way back in Genesis, the 10th chapter. Yep. What about the Tower of Babel, Brother Julius? <laughs> hey, the Lord did this. Wow. The Lord did this. Uh, skip Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. We're going to get there right now. Genesis chapter 11. Uh-huh. And start reading at verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language uh -huh. and of one speech. The same thing. Tongue, language, speak. One thing, black guys. Brothers and sisters, anytime you see the word speech or language, you can interject the word tongue and it wouldn't change the definition, the meaning, or the context of the scripture. Okay, well, verse 5, Ice. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower uh -huh. which the children of men built. In order for the Lord to come down, he had to be where? He had to be up. He had to be up in heaven. He came down to this earth, sisters and brothers. Come on, Ice. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. The people is one. And they have all one language. Oh, one language, or, one speech. Or you could say one tongue. Yeah. And this they begin to do. Uh -huh. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Right. Go to, let us go down. Let who? Let us go down. Mm. And there confound their language. Or there, and that they might not what, I see. And that they may not understand one another's speech. You see how the Lord say, let's confound or confuse their language that they might not understand each other's speech. It just didn't say tongue here, but it's the same thing. So what happened at verse 8? This is so beautiful, Brother Julius, because <laughs> that verse right there just yep. unlocks something in me. Here it is. There are three that bear record in heaven. Yes. I didn't say that there were three gods because the Bible don't say that. 1 John 5 and 7 yeah. says that there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and here's that Holy Spirit That's again. That's that Holy Spirit. The same one that we talked about in the book of Acts, uh -huh. the first and the second chapter. Yep. Jesus is talking to the angel that stands in the presence of the Lord. Right. And he says, let us go down because we know the Father ain't never been down here to this earth. Uh-huh. So if Jesus is say saying, let us go down, uh -huh. he's talking to his... Uh, I, I want to use urban language and say road dog, but I ain't going to do that, <laughs> Brother Julius. He's talking to Just, the Holy Ghost, none other than Gabriel. Let, us, let, us, said, go down. let us go down and confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Yeah. So the Lord scattered them abroad from this upon the face of the earth, uh -huh. and they left off to build the city. How are you going to continue to build a city you don't understand with uh, the next person telling you of a different nation? I give me a, a brick, brick. <laughs> right. or give me uh, 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 some mortar. Uh, well, huh? What? 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 What are you saying? So you don't understand each other. Hey, you just walk away. Verse nine. Because you know there's no interpreter. Go ahead. Therefore is the name of it called Babel. Uh huh. Because the Lord didn't there confound their tongue or language uh -huh. of all the earth. Uh -huh. And from this did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Because he wanted it that way, sisters and brothers. So you got Russia over here. Right. You got China over here. I got Germany right here. You got America over here. Just think, brothers and sisters, if every nation was all on the same accord... Do you know what would happen, brothers and sisters? Some terrible, terrible things, brothers and sisters, could happen. Therefore, the Lord got everything separated for a reason. Brother Julius, for the sake of time and yes. our battery juice, yes. we got to go ahead and get to the point. Let's go to let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. We hope to get all this in for our YouTube listeners before the battery goes out. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. The 11, uh, 1 Corinthians... Now, here we go. We're going to define to you, brothers and sisters, what speaking in tongues, if you're not doing it this way, uh -huh. it is not of God. Wow. If you're yeah. not doing First it Corinthians this way. 1 Corinthians 14, Ice. 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. It is not of God. And, so here we go. And, and, and sisters and brothers, now the offending really begins. Here we go. 1 Corinthians 14, pick it up at verse 1. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may... Prophesy. Now we're going into prophesying. Go ahead, Ice. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, Wait but unto God. Wait a minute. But for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, or a tongue that is confounded, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Because he under God understands all languages. He created them. He even speak fish. Hmm. Remember Jesus called the fish and told him to swallow, uh, prepare a fish and swallow Jonah? 
Mm-hmm. Read I for no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit he speaketh the mysteries. Ain't that what happened at the Tower of Babel? It was mm-hmm. like speaking in mysteries. Because no man understands, because God confounded the languages or the tongues. Come on, Ice. Now that's speaking in tongues. But what about prophesying? Read. Verse 3. Yes. But he that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification. Or education. And the exhortation. Yes. And comfort. Because the purpose of the Holy Spirit is to lead and guide you into all truth. But he's going to give you words that are easy to be understood. Go ahead, Ice. Verse 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Uh-huh. He edifies himself. He's edifying himself. Not nobody else. He's edif- He or she is edifying himself. When you see people in the church that's speaking and going on and blah, 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 and all in the church, they are edifying themselves because there is no interpreter. Read, Ice. But he that prophesies edifies the whole, ch- edifies the whole church. But somebody that's prophesying or read the word of God is Edifying or educating the whole church. Verse right? 5. Yes. I would that you all speak with tongues. Paul said, I wish everybody spoke in tongues. I wish everybody was multilingual like Paul was. But rather that you prophesy, uh-huh. for greater is he that prophesies. No, 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 no. You read that wrong, brother. I read it absolutely right, brother. You read brother. it wrong because they saying that you got to be able to speak in tongues. And if you don't speak in tongues, that you don't have the gift of the Holy that Spirit. That is a flat out lie. Let me read it again. Yes. For greater is he that prophesies than he that speaks. With tongues, uh-huh. except he interpret. Oh, so we need an interpreter. Yes, ice that the church may receive edification. What if there's no ed- no Brothers interpreter? Brothers and sisters, those who you've seen speak in the church in tongues, did they interpret themselves, or did they have an interpreter to interpret what they were saying? If it was not going on or going down like that, it was not of God. Brothers and sisters, what well, what is the evidence of? Of uh, uh, prophesying, and what is not the evidence of speaking in tongues? Read verse six. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, if I come unto you babbling, what shall I profit you? Uh-huh. Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or it's by got, knowledge, it's something or by that has to be revealed or by doctrine. Because we read that Peter said, "Black eyes, that all Scripture is given for understanding." Holy men, right? That's right. Peter said, "We have not followed cunningly divine fable, but holy men wrote." That which we were given by the Holy Spirit. Read that again, Black Ice. Well, we, for the sake of time, we got to move on, Brother Julius. Yeah. Where you want to go? Verse 6. Ver- I want verse 6 because it is critical. Now, brethren, I come unto you speaking with tongues. What shall I profit you except I shall speak to you either by revelation One, or by knowledge two, or by prophesying three, or by doctrine? So it's got to be something that's already written, mm-hmm. something that's already revealed, something and that's knowledgeable because it is knowledge that edifies the church, Black Axe. Let's get to the meat of the matter wow. about the interpreter, Brother Julius. Yeah. So let's go down to wow. verse... Let's go down to verse... Uh, go down to verse 18. Verse 18. And it says, I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all. Uh-huh. Yet in the church... Yet where? In the church, uh-huh. I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also Edifying. than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Oh, my gosh. How come they don't read that? What we had on the time, Mike? We got 60, uh, 30 seconds left, Brother Julius. Wow. Let's wow. go to... Um, what is to... Uh, skip down to verse 22. Verse 22. Right. And it reads... Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, uh-huh. not to them that believe. Not to them that what? But to them that believe not. Yes. But prophesying serveth not for them that be, um, believe not, but for them that believe. That's why it's greater to prophesy, because now you're educating people that are speaking in tongue, and nobody's understanding what you're saying. Verse 27, Brother Read it, Ice. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, uh-huh. and that by course, and let one man interpret. Decent but if there order. be no interpreter, uh-huh. let him keep silence in the church, uh-huh. and let him speak to himself and to God. Why? At verse 33. Verse 33. Yes. And it reads... For God is not the author of confusion, uh-huh. but of peace, as in all churches and saints. Brothers and sisters, we thank you for your time. Those who are tuned in via our YouTube, we um, are going to um, shorten this lesson a little bit for the sake of um, time, brothers and sisters. But we thank you for your time. Please tune in next Tuesday as we do every week on the Bible Show Truth Hour. Today's lesson was speaking in tongues, the Bible's version, here on POET Network.